morning. We are sailing right now between Kima and Port Arthur, Texas. Kima is south of Houston, moving my new sailboat. About a hundred mile trip. It's me and Mr. Bertuzzi, Mark Bertuzzi. Hey. The boat's previous owner. Uh, it's about 60 degrees, sunny, clear skies. Mild wind, 15 to 20 knots wind. Pretty high seas at the moment. At least high for this little boat. We're heading for the intercoastal shipping channel. Um, yeah, it's gonna take about two days. It's Friday morning, 8:30 or 9, and uh, we should be there Saturday afternoon. Those are big waves. Those are big waves. I'm getting back. by the way. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Just like a chance. No problem. Although probably not the greatest thing for the hull. We didn't want to hit those on the starboard bow, I guarantee it. Or of course, we hit it. Had it. Uh, so we're close to halfway. We've used about five gallons so far. Uh, still a really nice day. Uh, a little while ago, Mark ran us into something. Don't know what it was, but uh, we definitely hit something. Uh, and the motor cut out a little bit. And when we turned it back on, it was kind of something strange was going on. So, let's see what happens. We're debating possibly running through the night and making the whole 100 mile trip today. Uh, it's about o'clock. Left at 8, 8.30, so we'll cover about 50 miles so far. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Wish us luck. Alright, we're about at our docking ground for the night. Uh, we made an awesome time. Really windy. I don't know if you can hear the wind. And if you look, if you look, there's a bunch of water on the front of the boat because we've been getting splashed. That's why I had to stand up. Get the water out of my face. Get the ball, baby. It's supposed to drop down about 40 or 45 tonight. Uh, it's a good thing I brought blankets. So, uh, we're just trucking along, uh, we couldn't stop at our, where we were planning to stop, so we're probably just going to go as long as we can, and if we don't find a good spot, just kind of run it up on the bank, tie it around a tree, although there's not a whole lot of trees, pretty much nothing on both sides of this bank except for cow pasture and cows, um, try and keep the sun on. And actually, right now the banks don't look very good for running up on, but there's there are some good spots. There are a couple good spots here and there. Uh, all right, I'm not too worried. Mark is, but I'm not. Well, the sun is setting, and we're currently searching for a place to dock for the night. Uh, we found a good place. It looked like an abandoned fueling station. It didn't look like it was being used. The fueling tanks that do not said not in service. And things were a bit torn up, probably damaged from the hurricane. However, uh, they stopped dredging the little alcove. So when we went in there, we ran aground. Uh, a bit, a bit of a trick that Mark pulled out of his sleeve. We got the boat to roll, the boat to roll sideways a bit. And we got it out. Now, uh, driving along, hoping we find something. Something looks good. Right now, The we got rocks on both sides. So we can't just run it, run it aground. 
and then, uh, you know, our plan was we could run to the ground and leave it there, but that's not going to happen. Anyway, eventful day, it was good. Motor was, motor cut, kicked out on us, ran out of gas once because we weren't paying attention. We ran aground three times, or we hit something twice, we ran aground once. Um, peed in the water a few times. And, yeah, that's about it. Right now, I am steering with my butt. <laughs> and there go our last drops of sunlight. No lights around here. Let's we'll see what happens. My night vision is pretty good, though. We should be alright. One more thing. Mark is very nervous. He's making me nervous. He's so nervous. Alright, you probably can't see me or anything, but uh, we still can't find an anchored point and it's too dark to evaluate the shore. You can see in the horizon, that's actually where I work. That is the refinery, new refinery that we're building. You see those? Alright, so we made it through the night. Uh, Coast Guard stopped by, said they don't usually get sailboats back up in here. And as you can see, there's not much to it. channel dug off the main channel um, yeah it was alright it was a pretty easy night I slept through apparently everything uh, Mark was very nervous and kept waking up every time the wind howled oh that's no 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 no, no. I was just checking the gear checking that we weren't floating off down into the intercoastal or down in the ship channel where we get run over by a ship that's all I bet <laughs> um yeah, oh, I'll give an advertising spot to Long Island Sail for the uh, sailing video I made uh, last winter. Uh, they sent me a free hat. So, it's about 7.30 in the morning. We are underway. We should be in Port Arthur in about two to three hours. So, uh, we made it back finally. Here's the boat in its new home. Although, I will move it to a new slip that's not quite so crappy. That has electricity and water in uh, in a week. Uh, Mr. Mark, our hey. captain, who got us here safely without flipping the boat or killing us. That's right. Safely. Oh, give me the key. Buddy. Here's the key. The transfer Conrad. key. All right. And now have it's mine. We've accomplished our mission. Success. Despite Mark being so nervous about being killed in the middle oh, of the night. Okay. <laughs>